In an era where indulgence was often synonymous with power, one man's dining table became a battleground for self-restraint and national pride. You will be amazed to know that such leaders are remembered not only for their political maneuvers, but also for their peculiar personal habits. So foodies, gather round as today we are going to take a detour from the battlefield and dive headfirst into the dining room of one of the 20th century's most notorious figures and one of the most famous Italian dictators from the annals of history, Benito Mussolini. A man known for his bombastic speeches, balcony theatrics and ruthless dictatorship. Welcome to the Culinary Timeline, where we explore the exciting history of food, the diets of famous people and those old forgotten recipes. Where every bite becomes a story and every episode is a chance to savour the legacy of culinary wonders. Before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to keep updated. Also, to get the whole story, stick with the video from the start until the end. Now, let's get back to the topic of the day. Mussolini's Unknown Suppers, the austere diet of Italy's iron leader. While kings and dictators often feasted on extravagant meals, Mussolini chose austerity on his plate. But why? Was it personal preference, a political statement, or a larger ideological play? Stay with us as we delve into the frugal eating habits of a man who ruled with an iron fist, but dined with surprising modesty. So, without further ado, let's begin. My dear food and history enthusiasts, believe it or not, Mussolini had some rather unique preferences when it came to his meals. Born in 1883, Benito Mussolini rose to power in the tumultuous landscape of an interwar Italy. While his public image projected strength and authority, his private life often revealed a different story. During Mussolini's rule, Italy faced economic hardships and food shortages, particularly during World War II. However, as per reports, while the average Italian struggled to put food on the table, Mussolini's diet stood in stark contrast. But unlike many historical figures who indulged in lavish feasts, Mussolini was a man of surprisingly simple taste. His meals were devoid of the extravagance one might expect from a dictator, but don't be fooled by the lack of caviar and champagne because Mussolini's food choices were far from ordinary. That's right, it's not as simple as it seems. You may be hearing it for the first time, but Mussolini subscribed to a philosophy of voluntarism, which emphasized self-denial and austerity. This translated directly to his diet. He believed that simple, unprocessed foods fueled strength and discipline, qualities he deemed essential for a leader. Mussolini championed a diet that mirrored the struggles of the Italian people as a symbolic gesture of solidarity with his nation in difficult times. According to accounts from those close to Mussolini, his eating habits bordered on the aesthetic. He eschewed extravagance in favor of simplicity, viewing excess as a sign of weakness rather than strength. Even in times of plenty, Mussolini remained committed to his austere diet, viewing it as a testament to his discipline and self-control. But behind the facade of restraint lay a deeper psychological motivation, a desire to maintain an image of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Talking about his favorite food, dishes and recipes, he favored what he considered a true Italian diet, simple dishes like a garlic salad dressed in oil. His table regularly featured bread, polenta, pasta, fresh produce, and a conspicuous amount of fruits. But the simplicity of his menu was not just a matter of taste. Mussolini's austere diet was a political instrument to echo his fascist food policies. By promoting locally produced staples like grains, legumes, fruits, and vegetables, he pushed for an ideal Italian diet distinct from what he deemed foreign influences. His battle against Italian pasta, favoring rice as a patriotic alternative, was an act of economic autonomy and a nationalistic approach. Despite this, we know that his meals typically consisted of small portions of pasta, a staple in Italian cuisine, of course, but Mussolini preferred his pasta dry with minimal sauce. Accompanied with vegetables, either boiled or steamed, particularly artichokes, which he believed boosted his stamina. He did have fresh meat as he wasn't entirely vegetarian, but his meat consumption was in fact very limited. He preferred lean cuts like boiled chicken or fish, and of course fresh, simple, seasonal fruits like apples and pears rounded out his meals as well. It's at this point that you might be thinking, hey, this doesn't sound so bad. But wait, here's where things get interesting and, dare I say, a little unsettling. According to some authentic resources and reports, Mussolini had some rather peculiar preferences when it came to his food. Here are a couple of the eyebrow-raising examples for you that might be a little shocking. He fully believed raw eggs were a source of strength and virility, consuming them frequently, sometimes even gulping them down whole. Just like Hulk Hogan, brother. 
He also enjoyed fresh, expensive liver as a source of iron and energy. Mussolini had a strange fondness for boiled liver, a food not exactly known for its palatability. Although I myself am a liver and onions man. There was also expensive, unique bananas imported from other regions as he was obsessed with bananas, believing that they held some mystical power. Yep, that's what I said, mystical power. He would often eat them unripe, a practice that most wouldn't recommend. In fact, these strange preferences combined with his aversion to rich foods and seasonings led to meals that were, well, let's just say, not for the faint of heart. Express.co.uk already exposed in its report that the Italian dictator always preferred to have a good piece of veal marinated in various herbs including marjoram from the garden, and he liked nothing better than to sit down at home with his wife and five children for a family meal where he would encourage stimulating discussion and the airing of opinions. For dessert, the family enjoyed a ring-shaped shambiloni, which is a cake made with rare and expensive ingredients. Talking about his views on national cuisine, well, he considered French cooking worthless for one, and Italian the best in the world, of course. But he did have little interest in pasta as a dish, as we've mentioned. According to Mashed.com, Mussolini tried to replace Italy's passion for pasta with a new sense of national identity centered on rice cultivation. As World War II loomed, Mussolini's goal was to increase Italy's agricultural self-sufficiency by reducing the country's reliance on imported flour, one of the key ingredients in pasta. To say that Italians weren't impressed with the idea of giving up their beloved pasta would be an understatement. In fact, over the years, pasta ended up being emblematic of the anti-fascist movement. Moreover, Big Think also made similar claims in its report entitled The Time Benito Mussolini Declared War on Italian Pasta. And it's true that his plan to replace it with homegrown rice did not go that well. From his favorite food, a simple salad of roughly chopped garlic drenched with oil and fresh lemon juice to the delicious dessert shambiloni, we can conclude that whatever the reports claimed, he favored simple tastes. But the question remains, did Mussolini's peculiar diet have any impact on his life and leadership? Historians are divided. Some believe his simple eating habits fueled his discipline and determination, while others argue that his limited diet might have actually contributed to his increasingly erratic behavior later in his rule. Now foodies, tell us what you think on this topic. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As per some Italian historians, his diet revolved around the idea of lean living as a man in tune with the needs of his body and his country. Yet for all of his frugality at the dinner table, Mussolini's appetite for control was insatiable. Despite his authoritarian rule, Mussolini cultivated an image of himself as a man of the people and a leader who shared in their struggles and hardships. But for all of his attempts to project an image of austerity and self-discipline, Mussolini's dietary habits could not shield him from the harsh realities of wartime Italy. In the end, Mussolini's fate was sealed not by the contents of his plate, but by the weight of history bearing down upon him. The Iron Leader, once revered and feared, was reduced to a mere shadow of his former self. And no amount of mystical banana power can do anything about that. Indeed, through the gastronomical restraint of Mussolini's suppers, we catch a rare glimpse into the life of a leader who fed on simplicity while imposing complexity upon a nation. No doubt, it is the paradox of a leader's plate that reflects the serenity and the storms of an entire era. It surely reminds us of the complex interplay between power, image, and personal habits. Perhaps it's not the extravagance of one's meals that defines them, but rather the legacy that they leave behind. Regardless of the impact, Mussolini's diet serves as a fascinating glimpse into the man behind the mask. It reveals a leader driven by strange convictions, a man who believed that even his food choices could be a form of power play. We hope this journey through Mussolini's amazing culinary preferences has given you food for thought. If you find the historical feasts and famines of leaders intriguing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more captivating narratives. As always, thank you for watching and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. In the end, remember to keep savoring the flavors of history by watching our other fabulous videos for even more epic culinary adventures.